how much would you charge for this set? One of the big questions that many nail pros have is understanding how to charge. We're gonna walk you through all of that right now on the Biz Talk. Question number one, Tracy, before we start. <laughs> what? Do you like my socks? You've wore those before. I've seen them. Yeah, I, I'm not asking. It reminds me of the cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the yes, Cher I like Cher them. Cher Cher I, that's why I, I said the cat. From <laughs> <laughs> I stay away from words I don't know. Okay, like I disappears just, and then appears. Yeah. And yeah, stay away from words I don't know. <laughs> I like these socks. These socks are... Oh, just Christopher the, Walken's day. A, <laughs> I've had Christopher Walken in my head all day long. Yes, yeah, you should have heard him on Twitch. Twitch. He's just yeah. Go watch one of the streams if it's still out when this launches. But I just can't stop impersonating Why Christopher Walken like this because that's how he talks, and I want to talk like him. I want to be like Chris. Remember, be like Mike. This is be like Chris. Uh, yeah, forget it. Got you got to be. You got to be I don't, my gen to understand that. <laughs> All right, let's get to the topic. Um, on Facebook community, there was a lot of people sort of asking, you know, I think they were showing pictures. We actually see this a lot on Facebook, right? Where yeah. they they post a picture and they say, how much How much would you pay for this, yeah, right? And, this little and reassurance kind of thing. Yeah, and I think it's important to break down. We've done this before, but I think it's a great time to revisit how you should uh, set up your pricing structure for nails in general. So we're talking, we're going to talk about full sets. We're going to talk about fills. We're going to talk about shaping, right? Different shapes yep. of nails. And then we're going to talk about the big one that a lot of people have issues with is charging for your nail art and exactly how do you do that? Because there, nail art is this category. I can see how it's overwhelming, Tracy, because it's like... Yeah. There's so much. There's foils and there's there's trinkets and blinkets and watches and all kinds of stuff that you okay, put. Big cat and hat. <laughs> there's Trisha cats that you put on the nails. Um, there's so many things. How does somebody price this? Yeah. You know, I think it's important. But maybe we start with like the basic first. You know, full set fills, acrylic versus gel. Some people think, oh, but if I do gel. Um, you know, maybe I should charge different or it takes me less time, whatever their reasons are. But I like the way you set it up. Yeah. I know I'm talking a lot. I just want to say this. I like how you set up nails pricing because it's simple. Yeah. It's very easy to grasp and it's very easy for the customer to understand. I think that's huge. Yep. So Tracy, let's get to acrylic gels, fills, full sets. Let's start there. What you got? Well, each place is going to be different. So you know, you really have to base on your area, you know, is, are they getting, you know, 90 and up for their sets or are they getting, you know, more like 50 and up? So, you know, I, a lot of people say you're charging too much. I, in this area, we can definitely charge that. Yeah. And a lot of areas, more areas than you think you can definitely charge that. Correct. Um, but you know, I always say you should know what your competition's doing. How much are they charging? Yeah. I like to be on that higher, higher end, maybe even set the standard a little bit, yeah. but not so far that it's just like, oh, I just need that one client. One set. One client. One I'll, set a don't month. Don't have to work all month. Eight um, grand a set. So, so we'll base it off of that. Okay. So let's, what's, how much should we say just to tip? Should we just go off set prices for me? Um, This area? <laughs> why don't we go, let's start. Uh, you set prices. So, so I want to say this though. I think this is important, right? Because set prices for you are definitely going to be higher. Yeah. Right. You, uh, your nails are ex. You're you're very experienced. You understand nails very well. You have an, a lot of experience. You know how to take care. Like all that stuff matters in pricing. I'm getting a lot of compliments from him I today. Know. I don't What's know what's wrong with uh, you. I, there's a lot. I'm gonna. I like the I need to Christopher Watkins version. Need to sober up. <laughs> From the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> Program for that. <laughs> Too many compliments. Um, so like like I I think let's let's go with like in between. You're not a beginner. Okay. And maybe you're not at uh like your expert level, right? Let's go in between. So let's say, you know, full set starting, let's call it seventy bucks. Okay. Okay. I think that's a good That's a good spot. Good spot, right? Okay. 
Um, sorry, there's a bug. I don't like bugs. I don't like bugs. I don't like, oh, that's, that's a, um, somebody will know what that song is. Anyway, let's continue. Um, <laughs> like squirreling out hard right now. $70 for a full set. Let's start there. Okay. Let's talk fills. Let's talk gel, acrylic. Okay. Um, where do we go from there, Trace? Okay, so you got your overlays, you got your full sets, and you got your fills, and you got your rebalance, right? That's kind of your four categories uh, that someone coming in that you're going to see. For me, an overlay is going to be the same price as a gel polish, or and it, that doesn't matter if it's acrylic, um, a acrylic gel or gel polish, it, it all takes about the same time, and so therefore I charge the same price. So for 60, you're saying 70, I guess that would take it down, I would say, f I don't want you to charge anything less than 50. <laughs> as far as for fills? For, for I'm talking overlays. Oh, okay. Um, so let's say priced on the $75 full set, I would say that it's around $45 for that. Okay. Um, so that's your basic, and, and you're right, it's a basic fill price too. So that's all kind of grouped in that same kind of category for okay. me. Um, and I, I just really like simplistic pricing because I don't want to have to think. Yeah. So I, there's no difference whether I'm doing acrylic or gel. Okay. I don't want pricing to dictate what they think they need. And if you do that, sometimes a gel wearer, someone that's in water all the time and chemicals all the time, if they, um, cause most people price gel more. Right. Um, will go, well, I don't want that. I want acrylic. And I'm looking at their fingers going, but and knowing their lifestyle and what they do for a living, going, but gel's going to work way better. Yeah. But now, because of pricing, that's what they want. Yeah. Same thing with tips. I don't, I didn't do tips anymore in salon, but if you offer tips and sculpts, make it the same price. I don't want, again, a nail biter going, I want tips because it's cheaper than right. sculpting. Right. You know, I want to put on them what they need right um full set so full set 70 same thing whether it's uh, acrylic or hard gel that's that's the pricing got it then you have that's there's your base base pricing right then you add your art custom shaping length all is on top of that okay so before we get to that so that 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 makes a ton of sense again i like the simplicity of it it's very it's a very clean um did you mention tips like doing so when, yeah. you, when you say full set acrylic you're talking whether it's forms yes tips. Yeah. okay yeah so, that's all yeah together again that's what we were talking about with the nail biter i don't yeah. want a nail biter deciding right. that they need tips right sculpts really work better for a nail biter so again i don't want person going off of pricing when it takes me the same amount of time yeah. to do yeah um so yeah okay then from there like if you're gonna if somebody's like i want you know long stiletto so you got stilettos yeah. you've got coffin coffin ballerina almond, ballerina almanetto, is that almanetto. Kind of yeah and then obviously active length yeah so would you increase the price for those different shapes yeah. and why yeah so my full sets for active length short to active length got it as you get longer you're using more product it's going to take more time pricing goes up mine starts from 10 to 20 um additional so a stiletto set would be t an additional 20 on top of the set now that's you, i know your pricing starts at 90 for a full set right yeah. so if somebody's starting at 70 what would they add would you add that same 10 or bring it down like seven you know eight or so that the ratio is is there? Yeah, I guess you could you could yeah. ratio it out. Maybe it's an additional five to ten or five to fifteen dollars. Yeah, I I don't know that I would do stilettos for any less than at least ten dollars extra at least. So so you go stilettos ten, coffin ten. Yeah, I would probably put the two in the same category since you're reducing the price. Okay, almanetto and or ballerina. Almanettos you know, kind of very similar to the length of a stiletto. It's just almond shaped. So okay. it's probably all going to be around 10. Um, if it's shorter versions, like it's a shorter coffin or yeah. shorter, then it probably would be five. Five bucks. Yeah. Okay. So you, you want to adjust to quarter. I know there's I, a bug. I found there's a bug, bug guys. Got them. Did you get them? <laughs> yeah. Good. Did you eat it? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I didn't get him. There's his brother. Oh, his brother. I know his brother's here. <laughs> his brother. Um, so, so we've got your set pricing for your for your main services. You've got your shaping 
add-ons, which you do need to charge for. And now let's get into the art. Okay. So um, this can go like, I think this is the hardest part for a lot yeah. of people. How do you charge for this? Because, and, and, you know, again, the name of this, um, this episode is, is how much do I charge? For, how much what was it? How much do you charge for this hat? Sure. How much? No. Something like that. How much do I charge? Was the name of this episode, Jorge? Well, how much yeah. How much would you charge? How much would you charge for the set? Thank you, Kira. Um, <laughs> how much would you charge for that? Young minds. Yeah, yeah, young minds. So, like, you should be able to, without knowing what somebody's using, it's hard to, you know, understand. But the reason why we're we're not showing you images and saying I would charge this is because we have a system of charging, and that's what I'd rather walk you through the system so that instead of like looking at a picture and saying, well, you should charge this. When we don't even know what went into the set, really the details and trying to figure that out, it's kind of hard. We can give you a ballpark, but instead, let's give you a system so that whatever set you do, you'll know what to charge for. And art is the hardest part. So how do you go about charging art, Tracy? So it can sound simplistic, right? We say, oh, it's $5 per glitter, $5 per mylar, uh, $5 per colored acrylic. Uh, five dollars per extra gel polish. Five dollars. Every everything additional from. <laughs> Got it. Um, you know, when I do a full set, you get one gel polish with it. Color past that, everything's an additional five. But it's not that simple. Okay. Because if you're doing something very difficult, right? You're painting the Mona Lisa on their hand, and I'm only tr- and you. I'm using four mm. colors, right? Mm. Okay, that's an extra twenty dollars. There's no way, no way I'm only charging $20 to hand paint something that's going to take me a long time. Right. So therefore, we now have to charge for the hand painting technique. Technique, of course. So this is where it can get very complicated. Make it simplistic. I like what Melissa does. She says it's a dollar per minute Mm. additional Okay. for the technique on top of what she charged for the colors. So... If, if it requires that. So yeah. if somebody comes in and they're like, hey, I want three additional colors. I want you to do like a glitter press and maybe like a quick marble on one. You know, ring. I know that probably wouldn't go, but I'm just giving an example. You're not going to charge the technique. No, it's it's the $5. It's, it's per, the $5. Per, per item. Right. I'd add on. Right. But if it's like, I want you to create geometric, you know, hand painted shapes, like little, I want three triangles per nail. Yeah. Now you got to charge for the and time. And that's literally what Melissa's video was, was kind of like, color blocking in shapes yeah. and it takes a while you know there's a lot of like tracing set fill it in you know there's just a lot of technique to it i mean you see these pictures of what some of these nail techniques they're amazing it's insane yeah, it's incredible um so therefore you're i'm now paying you for your talent yeah and in the end it's like you know time is everything mm-hmm. and and i know you like to break things down with time because yeah. cause in the salon like it's literally time is yeah. money i mean it is and i always say i don't charge per the hour but i you better figure out how much you're making per hour yeah to make sure it's worth it yeah so so as a general like so let's break this down so additional whatever it is mylar confetti what about foil how would you how would you work foil. that in that same, same thing five dollars yeah five dollars because yeah. it's like Boom, boom, boom. Like it's, oh, like uh, the transfer foils. The transfer foils. I'd probably charge more. It you would, would. It would probably start at 10. Okay, so foils 10. Like transfer foils 10, yeah. but foil that you Im- that you were going to embed. Gold, or, gold foil or something like that. Yeah. Five. Five bucks. So, and that's uh, your standard per color. So if somebody's like, I want, I want three different glitters, yeah. that's 15 bucks. Yep. If I want you to do uh, marbling, the first color, obviously, with the color that... I'm going to pick my color that comes with it. And then I want to pick an additional color to marble with. You would just go temp five bucks. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cause the first color is that yeah. comes, comes with the set. So that helps to understand. But you know, again, if, if you're going above and beyond and you're doing some like 3d sculpting, for example, right. Yeah. Let, let's talk about that for a second. So if you do 3d nail art, they pick three color acrylics you got to charge for the technique you on top of it. You are not charging $15 to do flowers. It's yeah. $15, then for me, it would be at least $5 per flower. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and it's, I understand, you know, clients, you're, you're like, my client won't pay that. Then they don't need it. That's yeah. that's 
that's just absolutely it. There is art for everybody. There's a price structure for everybody. I can give you beautiful nails no matter what you want to pay. Yeah. As long as you meet my full set price. Right, um, right. However, if you want this kind of work, it's not free. Yeah. And I think one of the things that people say is, yeah, but then they, they can go down the street and get some nail art and they, you know, walk out of the salon for $30. <laughs> You're, hello? Waving? Bye. <laughs> Because it can't. It seems like you can. Yeah. I'm telling you, most of the time, uh, walk-in salons, I love walk-in salons. You know me. I love the fact that they they you, they got it figured out sometimes. Absolutely. And I like being able to walk into different places because I never know what my schedule is. Yeah. So I appreciate it. There's a clientele for everybody. They You do not walk out. I have never walked out of a walk-in salon for 30 bucks. Yeah. For right. my pedicures. Even right. my pedicures. Right. Now, on the window, it might say $20 for a pedicure. Yes, that's basic, right? Very basic, simple, brief. Then they hand me this menu with all these amazing additional things, completely outlined. I am not guessing what the pricing is for each thing. Right. And I always end up with the most expensive thing on the, 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 the menu. Right. I always walk out like $60. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like a like lure you in for the. T- yeah. It's like when I go to the car wash, which I never go to, but I just went to two days ago for the first time in like six months. <laughs> and he calls me. He's like, "Guess what I'm doing?" I just hear, "Shh, I'm all shower." <laughs> I don't know. I'm at the car wash. It was a, it was a moment of like celebration, but it's like here's the basic. You need to get out more often. I do. I do. Um, but it was like, here's the basic. And then it was like, then there's this, this, and this. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want, I, I'm going to add all this stuff on. I want yeah. my, you know. And but but again, that pricing structure is there. The pricing structure is if there. If I just want a quick pedicure, my toes painted, it will look very nice. I could walk out for yeah. that lesser price that lured me in. Yeah. And also, I think it's important. This is why, you know, you've got to establish yourself as like a true expert in your field and you do that through marketing you do that through content you got to create content on the regular people want to go to somebody who they trust is like a real expert in the that's why Tracy can charge you know $90 and Melissa can charge the same and I mean her sets are never under a hundred bucks like ever because of all the nail art she does yeah but she is like she's making constantly with us and on her own page but constant content and education it's like she is an absolute expert and as as are you and Greg and it's like you're going to pay that money to right. to go because you've established yourself as that. And and here's the thing. I'm not always confident in telling people that price. I I just really love that TikTok that we posted of like when you you're sending the message telling a client that the set they want is will be $150 and then when you put the phone you know you're all confident while you're typing it out and then I pick up the coffee and it's like <laughs> It's true. Don't worry if you feel that way inside going, oh my God, they're not going to pay that. They're going to pay it. Say it with confidence. It's not a question mark at the end of it. But the pricing structure that we just broke down, have it figured out. Yeah, have it figured out. It's not a question. You're not leaving. Because the minute they say, well, how much is it? And you go, oh. Oh, you're done. Yeah, I don't know. Done. 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 Yeah, they have you because guarantee you're going to get less than you should have. So sit down spend an hour it's two hours i don't care how long it takes and really really think about every situation that can walk through that door every art situation that can walk through that door yeah i just had a recent situation where uh somebody there was a a transaction and you know i was like i'm like how much is it And they're like oh just whatever you want and i was like oh my god no I, I just and it was very sweet like don't get me wrong it was a very nice I understand like it was very sweet and this wasn't like a professional business or right. anything it was uh it just wasn't but um uh still I was like uh but if you're a professional and you don't have your pricing figured out the client is not and that wasn't this setting <laughs> you know what I mean yeah it was like uh like I was just getting something and it was very, very, very raw and loose yeah. and, you know, but still I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to pay. I just paid a lot more, you know, just that's to, what's going to happen. Yeah. As a client, you're either going to overpay or underpay. Underpay. Yeah. And it's an awkward situation. So you've just made it awkward for both of us where yeah. you're feeling awkward. That's why you're saying it and you're trying to like, oh, whatever you want, because you just don't want to have that moment with yeah. them. Yeah. But now you have that moment and then you're going to have the moment the next time and yeah. the moment the next time. Yeah. And eventually 
what happens, Habib, is as a client, I might not come to you again. There's no way. Because yeah. I don't like that feeling. Yeah. And then, I, I, you know, a lot of people budget for hair, nails, and stuff like that. What's my budget? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to charge me. Yeah. The last time it was this, but the time before it was this. There's no way of figuring it out. Yeah. Um, or eventually they're going to tell me it's twice as much as what I've been paying and then I'm going to get frustrated Yeah. or I'm going to keep underpaying you. I'm going to keep underpaying you. And you're going to get frustrated and you're going to get mad. That's right. It's because gonna... you're just like, I, I don't want to do them. Yeah. They don't pay me enough for this. Well, yeah. that's on you. It's on you. You got to have that figured out and dialed in. And I think it's going to set the tone and, and the confidence thing is huge. Yeah. Like having confidence, even if you may not be feeling it, like, ex you know, you want to express confidence and just be like, Hey, here's my pricing. Is it some people are not going to pay it and that's okay. Yeah. Find your people that will, you know, and it does take time to build a clientele. And, you know, I know when Melissa came down here, when she was charging those rates, people looked at her and thought she was crazy, but she built her clientele she eventually on those high she prices. Got she got it and she killed it yeah. and good yeah. for her. Yeah. It, it, it's really important how you put that message out there yeah. because we can say something and even though we don't have a question mark on it, we made a question mark on it. Yeah, that's now right. Now we're asking permission. That's right. We don't want permission. No, you want to, you want to, you want to make the, it's better for the client too. Yeah. They feel more comfortable. 100%. You know, they want you to know your business. Yeah. So let us know in the comments below your thoughts on this. How much should you charge? Like pricing structure. Give us uh, an idea of what you do. We'd love to hear about it. It might help somebody else. And also any ideas for future episodes, put them in the comments below. Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time on BizTalk. Talk.